Hi, 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 my loves. Welcome back. So today it's a bit of a quick reading. I've just been doing a beautiful, beautiful ceremony. So um, there's a lot of smoke and incense and things like that burning in the room. And whilst I'm in this beautiful energy uh, from doing the Druid ceremony, I wanted to just do a quick reading for you. Um, so we're doing how are their feelings for you? What are their true feelings? Now, if you guys, let's change the subject, but if you haven't got this incense, I am not selling it, but it smells really, really, really good. So um, I used to sell it years and years ago when I had a little shop um, do, doing readings and selling incenses and things. Um, and then I sold out and then I dreamt of it the other day and I picked it up and it just smells divine. Anyway, change the subject. So what are their true feelings for you? Deck number one and deck number two. So I've been drawn to some really, really older decks today and it won't make sense seeing as the energy that we've just used for the ceremony is ancestry related and ancient God related as well, working with one of the older gods of this world. Um, so if you do need me for any magic, you can just give me a shout. Right, deck number one, what are their true feelings for you? So let's get going. And I'm just asking you to think of the person you want to know about. And we get that collective energy from you. And I'm just going to pull five cards on what their true feelings are for you. Let's go. What are their true feelings for you? One. This deck is so pretty. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, we're going to stop over there. Now, they kind of, they flew out of the deck. And you know, as I read, that's how the cards work for you guys. I let them fly out. I let spirit infiltrate the decks and let the, them show us and lead the way to the cards that we do need. So I'll read you the cards for those of you who do tarot. You've got the King of Cups, Father of Cups. You've got the Nine of Pence. You've got the Two of Pence. You've got the Hierophant. And you've got the Daughter of Cups, which is Page of Cups. Now, when we're first looking at this energy, at these cards you might be finding that your person has um with the page of cups and the father of cups this is suggesting that your person has got issues with children or there are children involved in his situation which could mean why things are a little bit complicated between the two of you now if that isn't the case you might find that your person acts a little bit like a child um when it comes to their emotions um, and in fact even with that even with children physical children or they act like a kid I do still feel that acting presence coming up so your person isn't very sure about how to process their emotions and they can come with a little bit of stupidity they can say really silly comments be a little bit flippant about your emotions and you sometimes feel like what the hell is going on I feel like I'm standing on a wonk what was that gate um do you ever as a kid go to the parks and you stand on the uh, a thing and it would go like that <laughs> Did you ever have that? I can see it at a fun fair. But it's like this kind of forward motion. You might feel like you're getting a bit of whiplash spirit or something as you're a bit confused over the situation. Now, what's really important to tell you is that your person has got emotions for you. They have got feelings for you. They also see you as a rare breed. That's what I'm hearing. Take that as a positive. It means that you, <laughs> and you're like, I'm not a dog. Um, but they, they see you as a very special person. Person they probably haven't had these sense of feelings or emotions with before. So you are very a niche, a beautiful person. And they are really, really drawn to that. They love uh, your enthusiasm for life, even when you're kicking their butt over certain things. There's also probably been a bit of tension, a bit of arguments between the two of you. When your person's trying to communicate, when you're trying to communicate with your person, you might feel that they would draw they pull out they backfire and you are left again feeling like you've got a bit of whiplash now your person has got emotions for you okay they have got feelings here they're trying to keep balanced with it so they are probably acting a little bit more on logic than emotions at this point in time and like i said when it does come to emotions you might feel that they say really stupid things they act a bit stupidly um or they're not really making themselves telling you how they do feel about you but there's a sense of excitement that comes with this connection. There's a sense of flirtingness, fun, happy times, um, really embracing the magic of life. And with the nine of pence, it's kind of like this abundant, beautiful situation between you guys. Your person is a bit of a lone ranger. OK, so they like to be on their own a bit of the time. And if you're texting them and they're not responding, um, spirit saying give them some credit where it's due. You know that they are probably quite caught up and quite busy. Um, yeah, Spirit just said that he, your person as a whole, again, this is your collective, is an active person. Um, I also heard activist. So it's active and activist. So take that as you will, whatever 
uh, relates to you and your person but that is what spirit are saying to me um now with the hierophant coming up as well this is talking about a more spiritual connection and it's also a truth okay so there is going to be spoken there is going to be speaking their truth to you so they are going to tell you how they feel they are going to tell you that they've caught feels for you that they've got these emotions for you um they are going to tell well they, they might again handle it with a little bit of immaturity and they might play around with it but they do enjoy that excitement and that fun energy that you give to them this relationship is going through a big transformation okay there is this transformation happening between the two of you and it is really really beautiful um and there's really great potential here for you guys very very strong connection very strong spiritual relationship very strong flirty happy times if you find that you are going through a darker period of your person give it a little bit of space give it a little bit of time and this situation again will transform okay now if you need me for individual readings i am doing same day same day turnaround on voice notes on instagram and facebook and they are only 10 pounds a question so if you want to know your answer today tomorrow next week they are on the same day okay and it won't stay like that forever but at the moment um i am very aware that you know with the video readings there is a turnaround time and i know a lot of you need the answers right here right now um so 10 pound a question instagram facebook voice notes um and i can get them back to you today so do drop me a message if you need me for that i said that uh, there is video readings as well the turnaround on them is about seven to ten days roughly um and we also do different types of reading like life purpose past life and things like that so do if you need me just drop me a message and that's deck number one that's it beautiful right deck number two i'm just gonna relight this palo santo a little bit as i'm just gonna jig up the energy between you guys um if those of you that are just tapped in tuned in and turned on i have just done a druid ceremony so i've got all sorts of incenses burning around and i've got my cast iron uh, pot over here so we can burn the palo santo whilst we are reading um, and i have to say palo santo and frankincense are my two favorite flavors of all spiritual readings okay let's go so Think about the person you want to know about as we're stepping into that energy. Oi, that did not work. I just totally boxed the cards. Uh, boxing is when they're, <laughs> they're like this. Um, but I'm going to go with that because when we start shuffling, it often tells us what we need to know about, about your person. So we have got this sense of confusion going up. Could be your confusion, could be their confusion. Um, let's go. So what are their true feelings for those watching? Yeah, Spirit are saying to me that there is confusion. You're a little bit lost on this. You're not really sure what is going on. Two. I'm just going to get five. Five is the way forward. Three, four, and let's do one more for you. So if you book private, the cards chose definitely. If you book private readings, I do a number of spreads for them. Um, and we look at your individual questions with those spreads. So we do thoughts and feelings normally to begin with, and then any specific questions you have. Um, but they are very, very um, detailed readings. So if you want one of them, give me a shout. And I said, uh, if you just tapped in, tuned in, and turned on, I do voice note readings on the same day, turn around on Instagram or Facebook. £10 a question, so you can DM me. It's just Mr. Love Tower. So your person's true feelings for you. Let's start at the very beginning. Now, I'm going to read down, okay? Sometimes I read across. This time, I'm feeling like I'm going to read down, so we're going to double card it. So the first two cards you got is Page of Swords and the Hanged Man. So this suggests that you and your person are a bit of a stalemate, that not much is really going on, or you don't really know what is going on. There is very much a spying energy happening here. So they are keeping eyes on you. They are watching what you are up to. They are keeping tabs on your social media. So, or asking friends about you, if you've got mutual friends. Um, and I just got the song by Taylor Swift, I Almost Do. Um, and it's talking about wanting to reach out to you. And every time they don't, they almost do. And I'm hearing that really, really clearly. And I can see your person texting on the phone and then backtracking on it. The reason why they are backtracking on it is because they don't really know what to say. They have got feelings for you. They have got emotions for you, but they're a little bit scared of them. They're scared of what the outcome could be. Um, so they want to speak to you because they miss you. If you're not in contact, they want to talk to you about things, but they aren't quite sure on what to say. And that's where that song I Almost Do is coming up. 
The page of swords is definitely them watching you on social media and it's definitely them wanting to connect through the internet, okay? So it could be WhatsApp, it could be Instagram, it could almost be any kind of texting thing rather than actual text message but there is this wanting to speak to you but they're stagnating that so let me just pull one card on why they are stagnating that i know we've just covered it but i just want to get a little bit more okay yeah so king of swords is why so they're stagnating it because they are working on logic like i said to you they're a little bit frightened of the situation they don't really know what to communicate or what to say they feel that you're going to kind of go back down the same pathway that you always have they could perhaps see you getting on with your life and that you're doing okay and they don't want to come and up your world because they have got in vertebrae brackets respect <laughs> you'll be like what they have got respect and they have got emotions for you so that is why not much is happening at this moment in time but they are watching your social media okay and there are these feelings for you let's be fair there are feelings for you but those feelings potentially in the past have come with a lot of pain which is why that song's coming up also with that six of pence staring at me in the face so you guys might oh i'm through a so this might be a more complicated situation okay so these two staring at me in the face it could be your circumstances which have caused the situation to go the way that it has gone at this moment in time so heartbreak perhaps third parties perhaps other things influencing their circumstances and situations it's not the why you're not uh, it could be the why you're not together sorry okay the next two the star and the two of pentacles so with your person's emotions, they are trying, they're very hiding, they're hiding from the situation, they're hiding from their feelings, they're trying to keep balanced on it. But there is this still, like I said, there's this need wanting to communicate, there's this wanting to catch up, there's this wanting to speak to you, and there's this sense of feelings of loss, of sadness, of heaviness. So your person and their true emotions for you is they are real, you know, but they're just trying to keep balanced on it all. They don't want to end up having another argument. The situation is coming back round again because it was so painful. It feels painful. It might be more your pain, it could be their pain, but there is this feeling of pain that is coming up. And with the Three of Swords over here, that suggests that. So where's that? What happens next? We've got the Seven of Cups and the Emperor. So the Emperor is going to be your person. Remember in Tarot, it always works male and female energies, but your person could be um, never gender specific or sexually orientated on this channel. OK, so this is your person. And with the Seven of Cups coming up beside that, this is talking about them having this sense of confusion. OK, so the energy is stagnated. Not much is really happening and they're doing it because they're trying to look after you, respect you. <laughs> give you that space give you that emotions give you those feelings so with that i'm just going to ask one more and i'm going to ask are they going to reach out to you or what no we'll ask what their next steps are what are the person's next steps that they're asking about yeah so this is a wounded soldier feeling a bit wounded karmic energy kind of coming to a clear you probably doing some magic on the situation um, and that's when the messages will come through so you will speak again if you're not in contact you will speak again um there is just this kind of i've been hurt i've been bruised i've been wounded and uh, maybe some things this is your person feeling a bit defeatist maybe some things aren't meant to be but I love her. I have those feelings for her. Not showing up in these cards, but the previous cards, it's really hiding away from those emotions, hiding away from that. So let me just ask one more about their emotions. Sometimes feelings and emotions come up as different things. Feelings can be, you know, like I said, he's hiding from the situation. Emotions can be what, what their heart is telling them. So can I just have two cards for their person's emotions for those watching? much just kind of i've made my bed now i'm lying in it <laughs> feeling with your person yeah it's circumstances it's situations they're just trying to keep balance there are feelings the green the heart chakra activated but whilst your person's in this mood <laughs> over the situation they're just avoiding it even when I'm pushing for their emotions, it's like, yeah, well, we have them, but we're not going to talk about them because, you know, it's too painful. It's happened before. We've been hurt. Your person's feeling lonely. Um, and there is a sense of I miss you. You know, we have got this missing energy coming up, but it's still very stagnant and very delayed. So that is your collective reading. Their emotions are there, but they are hiding hiding from them so if you want to know more you can drop me a message um i do do like i said I've, i do 
same day turnaround on voice note readings on Instagram or Facebook, they're £10 a question. Um, so just drop me a message. I also have spaces for video readings and we do all sorts of readings. You can just check them out on the website. And if you need some magic, we could have a look at maybe doing that as well, depending on your circumstances and if goddess allow me. Uh, I am a priestess for goddess, but I have to kind of do things on their terms when they say, well, we can do it, but we've got to do it this way and that way. So I need to check with them, but if they allow it, I've just done some beautiful ceremonial magic and it is something that we can definitely look at. Okay, so that's it. Drop me a message if you need me. I love you all so, so much. And as always, thank you for your support with the channel over the last few years and with the birth of Hunter and the growth of Hunter. Um, I'm just going to, yeah, let's just do a parting message from a different deck from me to you because I'm feeling in the mood. So can I just have one parting message from me to you? And it's judgment. It says life renewed on this deck. So renewal is happening, all right? things are changing, things are shifting. There is transformation going on around you, both deck one and deck two. Um, keep on the lighter side of things, you know. Um, enjoy the summer months as things start to really hot up, literally heat up around you. And you'll probably notice big changes happening as the, the, the summer months go on. Lots of, sorry, little changes that lead to big transformations. I love you all. Speak soon. Ciao.